Shalom. Welcome everybody. Welcome back to my channel. I'm your girl Ahabaya, also known as Juliet. Um, okay, so today I'm a little bit under the weather, uh, not feeling that great, but uh, I'm just gonna, you know, suck it up and do the best that I can to give you a little bit of content. So today, um, this is going to be a plant, ch a plant chores, a plant chores. Oh, gosh. So this video will be me doing some chores regarding my plants, seeing what needs attention, what needs to be repotted, what needs to be potted in terms of propagations, um, what needs to be watered, and also what needs to be moved around because there is a, are, there are a couple of spots, um, well one in particular that needs to have a plant uh, put there or put in place because I removed one. And um, I'll just give you some updates also on some of the plants that I have and we'll go from there. Um, first, I'm just going to do a quick vacuum of this rug here because it's a little bit dirty. I know you guys can't see it, but let's get that started, okay? So now that the vacuuming is done, what we'll do is uh, start off with some updates of some of my plans that you've seen more, more recently. Um, and then I'll show you some new ones as well that I've just recently acquired. First up is my Calathea, my Calathea Leopardina. <laughs> In the video that I made for my plant rescue, um, I was calling these Leopardina um, and I was humbly corrected that it's a Leopardina because like a leopard, obviously, but I don't know where I got the idea that it's supposed to be said that way, Leopardina. Anywho, Leopardina. This is what it's looking like. Now, you only see me holding one of them because unfortunately the other one didn't make it i have a short video on it i was gonna post earlier uh, was a couple weeks ago but i didn't i just well, i was supposed to po post it as a short but i didn't i thought it was doing something i thought it was growing i thought those buds that i showed you were actually going to grow into something it looked like the stem rotted from the roots up so it didn't make it I had to throw that one away but this one is still going on strong it's going strong I had to cut off uh, the original leaves that were there and it's growing pretty well it has some new leaves coming out this being one of them now the one problem that I'm having is that these plants when they are growing out the tips start off or they start to yellow before they even come out and what I tend to do is just cut off that part so that it has a, an easier time unfurling. And then the rest of the leaf comes up, but it's a partial leaf like this one here. Okay, so I'm not too sure if you guys have any advice or any tips on how I could stop the tips of the new leaves from yellowing before they even unfurl. That would be most appreciated. But this one is doing well. There are several new leaves coming out. There's one here, two, three, and four on this. Oh, and five on this uh, particular stem right here. But it's growing well. I'm still getting a little bit of crispy leaves or crispy tips. It's not that bad, but it's still the case. I've been using that solution that was recommended to me to neutralize the water. Uh, but I don't know, it's 
something something's not right maybe it's a bit too warm in here but at the same time I have a I have this sitting by the humidifier just under the humidifier so I'm not too sure what it's not happy with but otherwise it's growing it's growing fine and um, I can't complain about this one just a quick reminder guys, if you're here for the first time and you haven't yet subscribed to my channel and you're enjoying this content thus far, um, I make videos on my plant journey, my plant parent journey with my collection of common house plants that are keeping me quite busy. Please feel free to subscribe, join the family, and I post and I try to post one every week. So if you enjoy this kind of content, hit the subscribe button and don't forget to turn on the notification bell and also please give me a thumbs up if you can guys it helps me so much it helps the YouTube algorithm push my videos out a little bit more and it's funny because over 90% of my viewers are people that are not subscribed so Come on guys, if you are watching my video and if you come this far, um, I think you should go ahead and hit the subscribe button. Let's get to that thousand subscriber mark, please. If you can help me out, if you can help your girl out, all right? Thanks. Next up is this uh, Defenbachia that I purchased on my birthday. Um, now I did have two pots. This is one of two. The other one I've gifted to my father. This is what I'm left with. Now this plant, um, thus far, I don't think I've been, I haven't been keeping up on the watering of this plant. It's a bit dry in here. The soil is a bit dry. I need to water it, but otherwise it's growing. There are some new leaves coming out. One, two, three, four, five and then up here as well oh no <gasps> guys look what i just found a mealy bug oh my goodness <gasps> can you guys see it oh man this is not good okay i'm pretty sure it's a mealy bug that's not good okay i gotta get on it quick what I will do is wash it off okay we're gonna do this right now we're gonna go wash this off and get this mealy bug off of my plant because it's not welcome here y'all are not welcomed here I'm sorry you're gonna have to die y'all forgive me um but you can't be here you can't be here. You can't eat off my plants. Okay, so we're gonna go wash this off right now. Otherwise, that's what's up with this plant here. It's underwatered and it's got a mealy bug. Let's go. Okay guys, so we're here in the washroom and oh, seriously, I'm so annoyed. Okay, so here we go. What I'm gonna do is first take this mealy bug off. I got me a paper towel. Just gonna wet it a little bit and I'm going to take this mealy bug off and I'm so sorry I have to kill you but you can't be here I'm sorry so I got it off this is what it looks like once you kill it oh uh, gonna wipe this off a little bit see if I could find any more uh, I'm gonna get rid of some of these dying leaves Try not to break off any of these stems. Okay. I don't see any more mealy bugs. I'm just cleaning off some of these 
these in case they're hiding underneath. Now these plants are looking very leggy. I'm feeling like I need to cut them off. You know, cut them off about here, closer to where the leaves start to shoot out. Um, and then propagating them and then repotting them even back into the same pot. But yeah, so I don't see any more mealy bugs. But I. Take another quick look. Okay, so what I'll do is I'll just spray this off for now. I'm running out of this thing here. Um, but there's still a little bit left in it. Oh, I'm out. I'm out, I'm out, I'm out, I'm out, I'm out. any left in it but I got some out so I'm just going to rub this on the leaves rub down the leaves like look at this one look at how leggy this looks I don't like this. This is, this doesn't look right. Yeah, I'm gonna have to cut these off, I think. Ugh. Maybe that'll be another video. But yes. Wash these off. Oh my gosh. This is actually the first time I've seen a mealy bug in over three years. Well, a live one on one of my plants. Um, the last time that I saw a mealybug was on my Dracaena, my dragon plant, um, my big old dragon plant called Draco, <laughs> which I no longer have because of the mealybugs. Um, but yeah, I bought that one. I had bought I bought that one from IKEA, and when I brought it home, I found a couple of them on there. Now I'm pretty sure I I checked them out. I checked out the plant in the store, but they might have been hiding or something. But I found them on there and I tried to get rid of them, you know, by spraying them off and washing them off um, every now and then. But um, they just started, the plant itself started to decline shortly after that. And I wasn't able to revive it or bring it back to life and so I threw it out. So that was the last time I had mealybugs on my plants. About four years ago. Three, maybe three years ago, as I mentioned. Alright, so I'll just give this a quick rinse. You feel you guys still see this, right? Yeah. Alright. Oh, it's a bit hot. Now you don't want to cook your plants, guys, so make sure it's not, the water is not too hot. Warm is fine, but not hot. So I'll keep an eye on this plant or this pot. Oh my gosh, look at how dry it is, guys. Oh my goodness, I'm so bad. Look. 
It's so dry. Oh no, it's not happy, I'm sure. I've been a bad plant mommy. Oh my gosh. My plant is thirsty. Okay. Okay, I'm gonna have to water this. All right, so the water in here is purified. Okay. It's filtered. Filtered, that's the word. <laughs> filtered. So I'll just run this some water under here a couple of times. Just to rehydrate it a little bit. Okay. I'm gonna rinse this off again. Alright, so I'll keep an eye on this plant, make sure that there aren't any more um, mealy bugs. I'm going to have to set this one aside for now. So I'll keep this in here. Actually, I don't, I left the saucer out there, so I'm going to go get it, but I'll leave this in here and then I'll be back for it later. So that was very eventful. Um, yeah. All right. Moving on. Next plant. All right. So I wanted to show you guys my string of turtles. Another plant that I purchased on my birthday and it's looking good. I just wanted to show this to you guys because it's flowering. It started flowering. I have this place under a grow light. Okay. And it seems to be enjoying it. It seems to be liking it. I seem to be doing well with it. Uh, I don't have any problems and I don't water it too often. I just make sure that the soil is not sticking to my fingers before I water it and it's been doing well. Now the only issue with this is that it's very fragile. So every time I take it out of the pot, out of the, uh, the cover pot, I seem to lose a few turtles so if you guys have this plant guys just be a little gentle with it be careful with it because the leaves fall off very easily but otherwise i'm having a good time caring for this plant and it's the cutest one of the cutest plants i've ever had so it's doing well guys All right next so here is my silver bay, my silver bay aglaonema, guys, that I've had for several years now or a couple of years now, and it's doing well. Also, I just wanted to show you guys that it is flowering. Yet again, for me, this is the second time that it's flowered, and it's got two flowers with a third coming out right down here. Now I noticed something was up when this leaf came out and it was the si it was the tiniest thing ever. I was like, what's going on? I know you're watered. I know you're getting enough light. What's up? And then this, this one came out, this flower came out and I was like, okay, that's why you're flowering again. So, um, it's a good thing. It must be a good thing if your flower, your plants are flowering because it's happy, right? So. I don't know, uh, maybe I'll just let them do their thing. I'll let the flowers unfurl and give it about a day or so and then I'll cut them off because they're not gonna really do anything else and all the energy will be going towards these flowers flowering. But um, I think that's what I'm gonna do. But I'm happy with it and the plant on the side here is also doing well with a new leaf coming out right in here, so. I'm happy with these plants. All right. Awesome. Next up is my newest addition. It is an aloe vera, an aloe vera plant now. Yes, this is my second aloe vera plant. So this is my second hand at it. I think with the last one that I had, I overwatered it. I actually do have a video on it, um, me trying to save it. I mean, 
didn't quite work, I guess, because it died on me. But this is my second one, and I am trying my best to keep it alive. Since I brought it home, actually, there was one leaf that died on me shortly after I watered it. It was one of the outermost uh, leaves. And um, yeah, since then, it's been okay. It's been fine. I've watered it just that one time. I will water this soon again because it's fairly dry. Okay, I think this is going to be the method to keeping this aloe plant alive. I'm going to wait till it's fully dry, like bone dry. Well, maybe not bone dry so that it's not water repellent but I'm going to wait for it to dry up completely and then I'm going to water it um, sit it in some water bottom water it and then um, we'll go from there but I'm very happy with this and I'm looking forward to this plant growing bigger and not dying on me <laughs> all right all right so in terms of update again I have my skin dapsis, my skin dapsis exotica, I've given it another chop, yet another chop, yes. A few weeks ago, I decided to give it a chop because I had some stems or some vines growing longer than others and it was kind of uneven and I just wanted to even it out and maybe force it to push out some new stems, new vines that would hopefully cause it to become a more full plant. And I don't regret it at all. It's doing well. I think this needs to be watered today. So we'll do that in a bit, but it's looking good. It's looking good. I love it. And I'll show you the propagation pot that I made of it in a moment, okay? All right, so that's it for the updates on my plants. Oh, actually, there's one more. One more addition to my plant collection. Look at this. I have Tratiscantia, I believe it is. I haven't looked it up yet since I purchased it. My bad. You're supposed to look it up and find out what kind of plant it is and what it needs and so on and so forth. Uh, but I believe this is a Tradescantia and um, I, I've had one before and I'm pretty familiar with what it wants and what it needs to survive. But that other one that I had, I ended up killing. Uh, I can't remember what happened. I think it got thrips or something like that and then I just kind of gave up on it. But this is my newest addition and it's the cutest thing ever. Um, picked it up from Home Depot one day. It's, this is, uh, I don't know, what is, a three and a half inch pot. It was like $5 or $5.99, I think $4.99 or $5.99, one of those. But um, I saw this and I thought it was the cutest thing ever. And at first I was going to pick up two of these to make a bigger pot. But I was like, you know what? I'm pretty familiar with how to propagate these and they propagate very easily. So I'm just gonna buy the one and I am going to turn it into a bigger pot. So this is my challenge. I will turn this pot of plant into a bigger one by summertime, okay? I will do that. And I'm pretty sure that I can do it just fine. But I can't wait for this to get bigger grow longer and get or turn into that big full pot of plant that I am looking for, all right? And I'm putting this in this uh, cup here and it's like the cutest thing ever. All right, so that's that guys. So I just wanted to show you the propagation pot that I made of um, my syndapsis. Okay, so this is it. Okay, I potted this a few weeks ago. Okay, and it is doing well. This is going to create a, a nice and full pot. It's yellowing a little bit because I think I need to water it. Remember, um, the roots are fairly short. When I potted these, the roots were no more than two inches long, less than that, I believe. So once you pot that, in your in when you pot your propagations in the in your pot and it's uh the roots are pretty short are short like that and especially if your 
pot is nice and tall make sure you keep the topmost layer of the pot moist so that it could keep getting the water that it requires that it's been used to sitting in the water while it was propagating the whole time so remember to do that keep it watered not over watered just keep it moist enough like moist enough for the first week or so after you take it out of the water while it's growing roots all right but here it is and this will soon grow to be a beautiful pot all right all right so these are the rest here let me put this down so these are the rest of the skin dapsis propagations that I have. So at the time that I potted, that pot that I just showed you, these leaves or these cuttings didn't have roots yet, but they seem to have them now and are ready to be potted in their own pots. Yeah. Okay, so this is pretty long. I don't like them to be this long because it gets a little bit um, awkward when you are actually potting it. Um, but that's okay. So I have a little bit of a rotten stem and here I'm just going to cut it off before I put it in the pot. And then oh, this one's just started growing this one just started growing out roots or a root. That's fine. It could be potted like that. It's perfect. And then, oh, here's the other one. And then last but not least, oh, this one is extremely long. I don't like that. I don't like it when it's so long, but anywho, it's going to work. So I had these in this, this uh, container, this glass with uh, a couple pothos cuttings. All right. And this is just now this took forever to root for some reason. I'm not too sure why, but that's that. So I'm going to pot these and we'll go from there. Okay. I love my syndapsis. Syndapsis is or are one of my favorite plants. The leaves are so pretty. Like I don't even understand. The Most High is so amazing to be creating things like this, plants like this, to have created plants like this. Such a beauty. Yes. All right. And then I have another pot of Monstera Adansonia cuttings. This needs to be potted. Uh, I don't know if I'm going to get around to potting this today, but um, I don't know. You know what? What I might do is not pot. I'm, I'm not going to pot these plants. Um, today I'll save that for another day another video because uh, that'll take some time but this is from my mother plant and my mother um, uh, Monstera Adinsonia pot which is not doing very well right now actually so I'm glad I have these cuttings um, I might just cut that one up and um, propagate that as well and start fresh with new roots um, but this needs to be propagated and this also has a cutting, a, um, a pothos cutting in it as well. Uh, but this is another one of my favorites. I love it. The leaves are so velvety and they're very easy to care for. You just um, water it when it requires water, when the topmost soil, um, layers of soil is dry. And it'll be happy. All right, so this will be in another video, the potting of this here and these here, okay? All right, so um, yeah, in terms of plants that need to be moved around, um, I did move this plant here, this big pot of pothos from the top of that shelf over there. 
and I need to find something to put there or to fill up the gap that's up there. But before that, there is a plant, uh, my Florida Beauty, that's up there that's not doing so well. And um, uh, I'm not sure what it is. Give me a second, I'll show you guys. Here it is. So it's getting a lot of yellow leaves. Um, I don't know here. I don't know what I'm doing wrong. I've had this plant for a very long time actually and I haven't had much issues with this just now that it's starting to do this. I don't know if it's because I, I've uh, put it in this glass vase with no drainage hole. I've been very careful not to overwater it and it's possible that I might not be watering it enough. Although, you know, the soil is a bit, it's still a bit moist. I watered this uh, over a week ago, I think, but it's still pushing out some new growth, as you can tell, or as you can see right over here. And some of these leaves are new, like this one is new. And what else? There's a new one right over here. Okay, but I'm not sure if it's just not happy in here. If this continues, I'm just gonna take it out of this pot and put it into a pot that has holes and see if that makes a difference. At least it's not totally dead though, so I'm, I'm happy about that. Now in terms of sun, it might not be getting enough light up there. So I might move this as well and see what happens to it all right okay, so we'll just place this Defenbachia here for now okay not touching any of the other plants of dolphins doing very well so this is what I was talking about um, in terms of the pot that I moved from atop of the shelf the shelf over there 
I placed it here because it felt a little empty and a little bare over here. I used to have pictures up there, but I took them down for a specific reason. Um, but this is where it is now. It seems to frame the TV and I feel like it needs to have, this area needs to have something here on this side hanging or trailing across this way, um, all with uh, measures where it won't damage the, um, the wall at all, of course. But um, what do you guys think? Let me know what you think of me placing this plant here. Um, and uh, yeah, leave that in the comment, okay? So I took that plant from up here and I need to put something else over here to replace it. So I'm thinking that I'm going to put my Adansonia there for the meantime. This is the mother, the mother plant, the mother plant of Adansonia. I was telling you guys about where I took the propagations from and it's losing, it's starting to lose a lot of leaves. Um, I don't know if it's because uh, I'm underwatering it. I think that that might be the case. If anything, the pot or the soil seems to dry up pretty fast. And when I don't get to it in time, it starts to yellow. So I don't know, I might just uh, take this apart and cut it up and start over with this pot, but that'll be for another day. So I'm gonna put that up there, okay? Let's see. I need to get something to stand on. All right, so here we go. Now this pot actually used to be here. I had it hanging over here for some time and then I moved it away. Now look at this right here. This is why I need to start over. <laughs> All the leaves on this one particular stem up until here are gone. They've fallen off. So I'm gonna have to chop this up. I'll do that another time, but this is the reason why I need to propagate this. Maybe for now, I'll just wind it up around in the pot, within the pot, and and leave it till I'm ready to cut it up. Yeah. Okay, we have it facing towards the light, which is that way. And then there's this branch right here. We'll just bring these over to this side. Over here. Have them catch some of that grow light ambiance put this on this side over here yeah so we'll leave it there for now Okay, so I think I'm gonna bring this Florida Beauty over to the other side. It might catch a little bit more light that way. Let's move this this way. Here's a card, my daughter made for me for Mother's Day for Mother's Day. Okay. There. Well that's already looking better and I'll put this one here. 
We'll get some of the grow light from here and I'll catch some of the light from the pot lights above. Okay, and okay. I'm gonna move some of these, uh, what do you call it, ficus, elastica, burgundies. I'll move them a little bit closer here. They're propagation, so I don't really have them out um, as decoration just yet. So I'll put them back here and then put this in this space here. And I'll bring this snake plant closer to the light. Okay, I turn it on. It looks better to me, actually to the eye, a lot more pleasing to the eye in this, with this setup. Okay. What do you think? Yeah, that looks better to me. All right, so that's that. All right, so the plants up here need to be watered. I just gotta water these ficus elastica propagations. They're dry. Sorry, you can't see them right now. Okay, and I have <clears throat> tiny spider plant propagation here. And another spider plant propagation. Whoops. A string of dolphins caught on my shirt here. Okay. So this is also a propagation, guys, of my mother plant. <clears throat> Let me bring it closer. This is a propagation of my mother plant, uh, the mother plant uh, of the string of dolphins. Look how it's got roots. Okay, and it's growing upwards because that's where the light source is. And um, they're kind of leggy which is kind of funny to me because they're right underneath the grow light. So I don't understand why they're that leggy, but it is what it is. Um, I might find a way to hang it close to where um, the other one is, the other pot is, and see if it, like it likes it best that way. Um, this is a dying stem, but it's, it's alive and it's doing well this far. It looks a little funny, but it's doing well, right? You can see the roots in there, which is pretty cool. But I have it in vermiculite. It was just an experiment. I wanted to see if, if the roots would grow well within it and if I could sustain it as a plant within it. And so far, so good. So we'll see how that goes. All right. Okay, so this here, <laughs> I don't know if it's going to survive. This is actually a piece, a piece of Calathea from the one that I showed you. Um, which was dying from um, a part of it, a, one of the stems that is has now, I guess, rotted out. Um, but this is the piece. I'm trying to see if I can get it to root and save this particular plant. Um, looks like something might be happening down here, but I'm not too sure. Looks like the leaves are starting to dry up. 
hopefully I could get it to uh, grow roots before it fully dies. But I'll keep you guys posted on that. It's in a small vase here with uh, clothos cutting. I lost another leaf over here, guys, on this uh, bird of paradise, of course. Thanks to the little ones, <laughs> yet again. Uh, poor thing, just can't catch a break. One break after another. This mother fern definitely needs water. Okay, so this one I'll water from the top a little bit. And then I'll pour some into the dish at the bottom so that it could soak up, soak up all the water from there as much as it needs. I'll go over here. Water the piece lily. So that's about it for the watering. All right, guys. So this is the end of the video. I much appreciate your time. I appreciate you, every single one of you who takes the time to watch my videos. Um, and so this was an update of my plants and a little bit of watering. And I'll leave the repotting and the potting for another video because I don't want this video to be too long. But um, yeah, thanks for watching, guys. Be sure to come back again and have a good day. Take care of yourselves. Peace out.